So typically here in Wisconsin, grass pollen season runs from the middle to end of May through August. And the reason it runs that during that season is because that's when the grass is actually pollinating. The symptoms of grass pollen allergies typically include a runny nose, con nasal congestion, itchy watery eyes, or itchy nose. The typical time for treating grass pollen allergies is before the season even starts. There are some therapies that we can do throughout the season to help you when the pollen counts go up and down, but the best treatments are the preventative treatments. So the newest treatment that's out is what's called sublingual immunotherapy. So what that is, is it's a tablet that you will place under your tongue every day throughout the grass season, or in some cases throughout the year. The important thing to remember is that this tablet only helps you with your grass allergies, and not with any allergies you might have to dogs, cats, trees, or weeds. That first dose needs to be administered in an allergist's office. Allergy shots are given in an allergist's office. Every time you come in to get the al uh, allergy injection, you need to stay, stay here for at least 30 minutes because we're giving you something that you're allergic to and there's a chance you could have a severe reaction. The benefits of each treatment option include the nasal sprays being easy to use at home, very convenient for people, and help a majority of people's symptoms. The allergy shots are nice if you have multiple allergies. However, as I've mentioned, it's sometimes difficult for patients to come in on a weekly schedule or sometimes every other week and stay here for 30 minutes for each visit. The new treatment, the grass tablets, they're also very convenient for people to use at home. However, they only will help against grass pollen allergies. Basically anyone who's having the seasonal allergy symptoms will benefit from the nasal steroid sprays. Those individuals that are deemed to have grass pollen allergies may benefit from doing the grass tablets, and those that have significant allergies that are not relieved by the nasal spray medications might benefit from doing allergy injections.